Hello, everyone. Mbappe and Neymar conflict. Emiliano Martinez challenged Cristiano Ronaldo and more. An exciting new release awaits you. Sit back, subscribe and give us a like. Write in the comments below what games you are planning to watch today. And while you are writing, let's get going. Real Madrid remains unbeaten for 25 La Liga games in a row, having 18 wins and 7 draws. PSG has 8 consecutive victories in Ligue 1. The Parisians are 10 points ahead of their nearest pursuer. It was a wild game. They fought Liverpool and deserved a point. I respect that, said Jurgen Klopp after the match against Brentford. Salah has scored his 100th Premier League goal for Liverpool, the fastest in club history. Defeat versus Aston Villa? Manchester United must react immediately, get back on its feet and show its true strength, Ronaldo wrote on his Instagram account. Solskjaer thinks that Aston Villa players prevented Bruno from scoring a penalty. They crowded the referee and Fernandes. That's not great to see, complained the Manchester United manager. City deserved to win. Chelsea were not at its best level, admitted Thomas Tuchel. I'm proud of what City did. The way we played was good. The lads were incredible, said Guardiola. Griezmann still has no goals scored in five appearances for Atletico since his return. Real Madrid have not played the best game of the season. Villarreal had control over the ball, Ancelotti said. You can take it when it's a good goal conceded against you, but that's offside, stated Solskjaer after the match against Aston Villa. Bruno missed two of 23 penalties for Manchester United in all competitions. Also, it was the first time Fernandes completely missed the goal from the spot. Guardiola broke Man City's record for most victories at the head of the club with a total of 221. The percentage of matches won is 72.9. Man City has updated its club record by conceding one goal in six match days of the Premier League. For the first time under Tuchel, Chelsea had no shots on target. Manchester United has lost three of their last four games. Solskjaer's position is becoming shaky. Ronaldo did not score for the first time since returning to Manchester United. Before the game against Villa, there were four goals in three matches. The PSG is an instrument in the service of Qatari politics. Messi was signed when the United States and the Taliban were negotiating in Doha. Neymar joined the team in the midst of the Gulf, claimed Jean-Baptiste Gauguin, an expert on sports geopolitics. Number 10 is a challenge, but if you're at Barca, you have to be prepared for anything. This is the best club in the world, Ansu Fati noted. Ronaldo hit the wall with a free kick in the match against Aston Villa. He had one goal in 71 attempts at Juventus. Pioli offered to prohibit returning to your own half of the field after crossing the centre line. Add a stop time rule and add a time out in the first half. Barcelona's lack of goals. We have lost players who had effectiveness. Now we are suffering, shared Ronald Koeman. Dybala will receive 10 million euros per year under the new contract. Only Matthias De Litt has a higher salary at Juve. When I arrived and asked in the locker room how many had played a match in the Champions League, so few raised their hands. I thought it was a joke, Zlatan Ibrahimovic told. Salah plays the game at the same level as Lewandowski, no doubt about that. He is a goal-scoring machine, claimed Jurgen Klopp. They wanted to sell me because of the Covid. Zidane's opinion was different from what the club thought, Hakimi said. And Sufati was included in the starting lineup for the game against Levante. He is ready to play for 15 minutes. The striker hasn't played for Barca for almost a year. Barcelona officials are working to cut the salaries of Coutinho, Umtiti, and Neto. PSG intends to sign Rudiger as a free agent in the summer of 2022. He has already been offered a contract according to which he will receive £400,000 a week. Koeman has 61% of wins and games at the head of Barcelona, whilst Setien has 64%. Dani Alves announced his desire to rest until the end of the year. Only in the new year of 2022 will the Brazilian decide in which club to continue his career. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Ronaldo plays until 40, Solskjaer said. Barcelona and Sergio Roberto will sign a new contract on Monday. The agreement will be valid until the summer of 2024. The Spaniard expects a 30% pay cut. Man City beat Chelsea, ending a streak of three defeats against the Blues. Benjamin Mendy got removed from FIFA 22. The player is charged with rape. Yesterday, there were lots of fixtures in the top European leagues. All the results are in front of you. Now, let's dive into the main news of this release. Let's have a brief rewind of yesterday's games. Starting with the Premier League, where Manchester United unexpectedly lost to Aston Villa at Old Trafford, 1-0. Bruno Fernandes missed a penalty given in the 93rd minute. Brentford and Liverpool presented the match of the day, 3-3. Jota, Salah and Jones secured the draw for Klopp's team. In the main event of the day, the finalists of last season of the Champions League met again. Chelsea hosted Manchester City and lost at Stamford Bridge. 1-0. The winner was slotted by Gabriel Jesus. Interestingly enough, Liverpool remains at the top of the table. Next up is the Bundesliga. Here we would love to highlight the outstanding victory of Leipzig. Hertha suffered a lot from a 6-0 battering. Offenheim beat Wolfsburg 3-1, while Borussia Mönchengladbach was stronger in the derby. 1-0. Subsequently, Bayern is three points ahead of their closest pursuers. Meanwhile, in La Liga, it was not the best day for the Madrid big clubs. Atletico sensationally lost to Alaves, 1-0, and Real did not manage to defeat Villarreal at home. It was a 0-0 shutout. Sevilla took advantage of the leaders' misfires, getting three points in the match against Espanyol, 2-0 increases Lopetegui's team's chances to go on par with Real. The National League of Italy has a new leader. Milan got a tough victory over La Spezia 2-1. We note the goal of 19-year-old Daniel Maldini, son of the great Paolo Maldini. It is the Rossonieri who are now the leaders of the standings since Inter went out of the way, sharing points with Atalanta 2-2. Unfortunately, there were no sensations in Ligue 1. Another victory for PSG. This time, the Parisians withstood Montpellier, 2-0. Messi sat in the stands, and Goye and Draxler were making the difference clear. Now we move on to the most discussed episodes of yesterday's match day. To begin with, let's go back to Old Trafford, to the same missed penalty by Bruno. Aston Villa goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez dared Cristiano Ronaldo to take the shot, pointing at him with his finger. But Manchester United's number 7 refused and gave the ball to his compatriot. Martinez was very upset by Ronaldo's decision, as he wanted to face Cristiano one-on-one. -on -one. Emiliano celebrated the 11-metre pointer very rudely, for sure. The supporters of Manchester United did not like this gesture at all. What's more, Ronaldo probably regretted trusting Bruno, now, it is Cristiano who will take the penalty. By the way, Ronaldo supported Fernandes after the failure. What a beautiful moment. New conflict in PSG, and this time Mbappe and Neymar got in a quarrel. After the Brazilian gave an assist to Draxler, Kylian, who was already on the bench, turned to Goya. Neymar gives me no pass when I am in the same positions on the pitch. According to the journalist Zach Lowe, well, to put it mildly, the situation in Paris Saint-Germain is heating. Manchester City intends to compete with Real Madrid for PSG striker Kylian Mbappe. Sheikh Mansour, the owner of the English club, told his representatives that the Frenchman needs to be signed at any cost, according to the Transfer Window podcast. Man City will attempt to get Mbappe already in January, when half a year is left before the expiration of his contract with PSG. Real Madrid has a strong competitor. Where do you think it is better for Kylian to go? Madrid or Manchester? Leave your opinions in the comments. 
Lionel Messi and Marco Verratti must recover from injuries for the Champions League group stage match between PSG and Manchester City. According to L'Equipe, the players will be in the Parisian squad for the game against the English club. Now that is great news for football fans. With Messi and Verratti on the pitch, this battle will be bigger than ever. PSG is about to face Manchester City on Tuesday the 28th of September, so don't miss the show. And of course, fresh updates for Barcelona, Kerman and Xavi. According to the authoritative journalist Edu Polo, Xavi is ready to lead the team, but he is waiting for two actions. The first is the official sacking of Kerman. The second is Laporta's call. Well, it seems that the resignation of the Dutch manager is not far off. However, Louis Canu, the journalist close to Kerman, states that Ronald still has a chance to stay at the head of the team. This happens in case Barca shows excellent results in ties against Levante, Benfica and Atletico. If this does not happen, his departure is inevitable. Besides, it seems to us that Kerman's sacking is a matter of time and Barcelona is just waiting for a break for the national teams. Then everything mentioned is supposed to happen. Kerman out, Xavi in, just wait for it. Friends, follow our other news project, Top Football News, and don't forget to subscribe. The Top Football News channel was with you. Good day to everyone. Bye-bye.